the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Today we celebrate the feast of St. Catherine of Siena. As we do so, we pause for a moment in preparation to call to mind our sins and God's great mercy for us. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. The Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, who set St. Catherine of Siena on fire with divine love in her contemplation of the Lord's passion and her service of your church, grant through her intercession that your people, participating in the mystery of Christ, may ever exult in the revelation of his glory who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. There was an attempt in Iconium by both the Gentiles and the Jews together with their leaders, to attack and stone Paul and Barnabas. They realized it and fled to the Iconian cities of Lystra and Derbe and to the surrounding countryside where they continued to proclaim the good news. At Lystra, there was a crippled man, lame from birth, who had never walked. He listened to Paul speaking, who looked intently at him, saw that he had the faith to be healed, and called out in a loud voice, Stand up straight on your feet. He jumped up and began to walk about. When the crowd saw what Paul had done, they cried out in Lyconian, The gods have come down to us in human form. They called Barnabas Zeus and Paul Hermes because he was the chief speaker. And the priest of Zeus, whose temple was at the entrance to the city, brought oxen and garlands to the gates, for he, together with the people, intended to offer sacrifice. The apostles, Barnabas and Paul, tore their garments when they heard this, and rushed out into the crowd, shouting, Men, why are you doing this? We are of the same nature as you, human beings. We proclaim to you good news, that you should turn from these idols to the living God, who made heaven and earth and sea and all that is in them. In past generations, he allowed all Gentiles to go their own ways. Yet, in bestowing his goodness, he did not leave himself without witness, for he gave you rains from heaven and fruitful seasons and filled you with nourishment and gladness for your hearts. Even with these words, they scarcely restrained the crowds from offering sacrifice to them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Not to us, O Lord, but to your name give the glory. Not to us, O Lord, but to your name give the glory. Not to us, O Lord, not to us, but to your name give glory. Because of your mercy, because of your truth, why should the pagans say, where is their God? Not to us, O Lord, but to your name give the glory. Our God is in heaven. Whatever he wills, he does. Their idols are silver and gold, the handiwork of men. Not to us, O Lord, but to your name give the glory. May you be blessed by the Lord who made heaven and earth. 
Heaven is the heaven of the Lord, but the earth he has given to the children of men. Not to us, O Lord, but to your name give the glory. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, Whoever has my commandments and observes them is the one who loves me. Whoever loves me will be loved by my Father, and I will love him and reveal myself to him. Judas not the Iscariot, said to him, Master, then what happened that you will reveal yourself to us and not to the world? Jesus answered and said to him, Whoever loves me will keep my word, and my Father will love him, and we will come to him and make our dwelling with him. Whoever does not love me does not keep my words, yet the word you hear is not mine, but that of the Father who sent me. I have told you this while I am with you. The Advocate, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, he will teach you everything and remind you of all that I told you. The Gospel of the Lord. So today's gospel is Jesus' final discourse, his farewell discourse that we find uh, in John. And we see that he is doing that which his father wants him to do. But he's not going to abandon us when he ascends to heaven. He's going to send us on Pentecost the Holy Spirit to stay with us and be with us uh, as his very presence. Uh, we have his very presence on the altar when we receive communion here. So the, here we are 2,000 years uh, with that very presence. Uh, in the uh, first reading, we see the spread of the gospel among the nations. And uh, here they, they mistake Paul and Barnabas for the gods because of all the good things that uh, are happening, healing this cripple. It's sort of a parallel story. Peter had done this before, and now Paul heals the cripple so amongst the Gentiles. And so they want to offer uh, uh, sacrifices to, to Barnabas and to Paul himself. He says, no, 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 we're just humans uh, like you are. They, what they're doing, they're doing to draw people to God. And this is what St. Uh, Catherine of Siena did. Many times we wonder, how are we going to get all our prayers in? Well, she couldn't stop praying. And this morning's uh, Divine Office, there's a reading from her dialogue on divine providence. And she just says, the opening lines of it go, Eternal God, eternal Trinity, you have made the blood of Christ so precious through his sharing in your divine nature. And she writes, you are a mystery as deep as the sea. The more I search, the more I find. And the more I find, the more I search for you. But I can never be satisfied. What I receive will ever leave me desiring more. So the more time she spent in prayer and in dialogue with the Lord, the more she grew close to the Lord, the more she wanted to be close to the Lord. And that's really our call today. Uh, St. Catherine was uh, in her closeness to the Lord. She had to face the difficulties of her time. One of them were, there were a couple different popes at the same time. One was in Avignon, another in Rome, and the one in Rome shouldn't have been. But anyway, she tried to get the one from Avignon to come back, and she succeeded, did get him to return. And uh, she has been named... Uh, uh, together with Bridget of Sweden and uh, St. Benedict of the Cross, Edith Stein, as co-patronesses of Europe. So powerful is she. She only lived to be 33, 
the same age that Jesus was when he died, but in that life she conquered so much. However many years the Lord is going to give to each of us, let's spend each of them as wisely as did Catherine of Siena. We offer our prayers for Pope Francis and for all leaders in church and state that they may be guided by the wisdom of God, we pray to the Lord. We pray for peace in our time, in our world, amongst the countries of our planet, we pray to the Lord. Pray for the sick and the dying and those who have asked for our prayers, we pray to the Lord. We pray that we, like St. Catherine of Siena, may always stay close to God and let God be close to us. We pray to the Lord. Let us pause for a moment and add our own intentions. For these, and for Tatsiana and Bill Motel and Tekla Hasyuk, for whom this Mass is offered, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers today. May we hear you, and like St. Catherine, respond to what we hear. For you are Christ Jesus, our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. In the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed Humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, our Lord, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you. Wash me, Lord, from my iniquity and cleanse me of my sin. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Accept, O Lord, the saving sacrifice we offer in commemoration of St. Catherine, so that instructed by her teaching, we may give ever more fervent thanks to you, the one true God, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in the saints who consecrated themselves to Christ for the sake of the kingdom of heaven, it is right to celebrate the wonders of your providence by which you call human nature back to its original holiness and bring it to experience on this earth the gifts you promise in the new world to come. And so, with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, 
Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Salvatore, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the Blessed Apostles, and the Blessed Grimwald Santa Maria, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. And give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. 
Grant us peace. May this mingling of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ be returned back to us to receive it. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. May the heavenly table at which we have been fed, O Lord, confer eternal life upon us, as even in this world it nourished the life of St. Catherine, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. The Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. As Mass is ended, let us go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. Have a good day, everyone. Thank <clears throat> you.